You gonna run around? Um, huh? No. Are you gonna run around in here? No. All right, so welcome back to Boisterous Cock Farmstead. So I wanted to take a break. I was getting ahead of myself here just because it was actually starting to come up really well. But what I've done is I've cleared out the living room here. Um, for those of you that have watched, we used to have a sectional here in this middle room, the dining area, I had the TV over there against the wall. And I've moved all that into this room, which is the master bedroom or will be the master bedroom down the line. And what I'm doing is I'm breaking up all this old tile. And fortunately, whoever laid this tile kind of really did a, a bad job. And they didn't really prep the concrete all that well. And I don't even think they used enough thin set mortar when they laid it out. So it's really just kind of popping right up once you kind of get the, the chisel under it. So I'll do a little bit here. Um, to show you guys how easy it's coming up and then I'm just going to finish up the room. that's pretty much that's how quick it's going so I'm gonna actually go ahead and pull the camera out of here and all I'm doing is I'm just gonna haul this into this little uh, dump cart that I've got and take it over to the little uh, rubble island um, which is basically where when I took all the stucco and everything off the outside of the house and also when I demoed the outside laundry wall the little red block wall that it had. I just kind of put it around an area that already had a bunch of um, chain link fence scrap and everything. And so it's just an area that I, I drive around with the vehicles anyway. And uh, it's got a couple mesquite trees in there. But we'll just dump that into that area there. And uh, someday I'd like to start building some uh, earth buildings and when that happens i'll just use that as filler in the walls and until that time it'll save me money get it out of my way for one but it'll save me money having to go to the dump and uh, pay to have all this stuff basically just thrown away so
All right, so we've got about half of the the living room space here broken up and I've already dumped one load so should just be able to break up the other half here with a second load and then I'll actually start uh, moving some of that stuff back and out of the way I'm gonna take this fridge out and bring it out so that I can kind of clear up this space here because this transition right here I'm gonna have to pour some concrete and then also level it out with some uh, self-leveling compound here eventually so we have a nice uh, smooth transition between these two slabs so I'll give you guys an update when I'm done with all that stuff so stick around all right so here is what we've got uh, left you can see all this wood for one I know that they didn't use pressure treated wood originally um, I know that from replacing all the bottom plates around the outside of the house when we uh, reframed it but uh, there is a uh, there is an old uh, block footing here and I think what the problem was because there was there was a hump in this tile right here and I think what it what the problem was is they just poured concrete they poured too much or um, the moisture in the wood actually caused it to heave a little bit and uh, so it wasn't flat so I might actually get away with just coming through and floating some concrete down this little channel here and not have to deal with any self leveling but uh, as you can see it actually came up pretty clean there are a few spots where I need to clean it up chisel it up but I just got my flat shovel flat nose shovel and uh, just kind of scooped everything up I'll sweep um, after I chisel everything up but all right so it's been a couple days since I last recorded uh, any footage and since then I have moved uh, the egg fridge or what we call the egg fridge from over here in the dining area over to the kitchen side and cleaned up all the tile in the dining room area and I poured concrete into this trench here and uh, I was actually concerned about this this uh, transition between the two different slabs because the tile that was there before had like a quarter inch rise on one of the one of the grout lines and I wasn't sure if if the slabs were you know different levels slightly or what but uh, I've got my level down here and going across there is a there is a very slight um, gap for about I don't know not quite two feet here comes out to about right here um, but the height of that is actually only about eighth of an inch maybe three sixteenths of an inch and the trowel that I'm going to be using, the notch trowel that I'm going to be using, is higher than the variation of the slab. So what I'll do is I'll just make sure that I've got nice high ridges when I'm um, troweling down the mortar. And the tile should be able to float across there and the mortar will actually fill in that gap. If it was more than, than what my notch trowel actually had as a variance then I would actually pour a self leveler and I was thinking about pouring a self leveler but after just looking at it for a couple days I just decided that's not the way that I wanted to to deal with it so we're just gonna go with this I will dry fit some of the tile uh, before I fully finally decide not to use the leveler uh, so that'll be later today probably all right so I've got some tile over this transition here and you can see there's a little a little bit of a teeter-totter there but like I said by the time I actually float that with the mortar 
uh, that should lift up this center here and uh, shouldn't have much in the way of uh, any issue and uh, worst case scenario it'll be kind of like what we've got in the bedroom in here where there were some undulations in the slab and uh, it just makes it kind of look like some of the since this is a, a wood grain pattern it just kind of makes it feel like some of the old wood is pulling up off of the ground so obviously you don't want too much of that but a little bit of it uh, could give it character if uh, if you're okay with that if you want it perfectly flat then obviously you'd want to pour some self level air here and uh, call it good tomorrow I've got to go pick up my folks in Tucson at the airport so I'm not gonna be able to get any work done tomorrow or t yeah tomorrow but my hope is I get everything ready so that on Sunday I can just start uh, laying out the tile so that is going to be the goal and uh, Asher's enjoying having all kinds of space to run around in here you gonna run around huh you gonna run around in here you see yourself can you see yourself on camera now So the tiles that we've got, I think are six by 24, if I'm not mistaken. So they should, they should be able to cover this transition relatively easily. Um, but again, I'll, I'll get out some tile. I may actually do that right now and do some dry laying. And if you look over here, the reason I've got this tile, <laughs> yeah, you're standing right in my shop, baby. The reason I used, I kept this tile here is I'm going to actually use this old line because I like I like how the tile was lined up in the room. So I'm just going to use that as kind of my launching point and dry fit a few tiles over there and then come into this room and then I'll start actually laying the tile with the mortar on this side of that line um, and then I'll have to I'll have to leave a few um to be done when i do that side of the room but the idea is i'll get the living room and the dining room tiled up grouted up move this refrigerator over somewhere into this side of the room and then i can actually move the island the stove the dishwasher and this refrigerator here over onto the tiled area and pull all this stuff up and uh, finish out the room so i think that's going to do it for today uh, if you like this video please give us a thumbs up please because <clears throat> please subscribe to our channel if you're not already subscribed and click the bell notification so that you're notified when new content is released um, as always thanks for joining us and god bless Ash, you want to say bye-bye? Bye. Bye-bye.